So in this segment, let us see some problems based on EDTA titration. That is to determine the total temporary and permanent hardnesses. So in this problem, 0.28 gram of calcium carbonate is dissolved in 1 liter water that is giving you a standard hard water. 100 ml of that standard hard water requires 28 ml of EDTA. From this we can get 1 ml of EDTA is equal to how many milligrams of calcium carbonate that we can arrive. So 1000 ml of standard hard water contains 0.28 grams of calcium carbonate. It is converted into milligrams. That is 1000 ml of standard hard water contains 280 milligrams of calcium carbonate. From this we can get 1 ml of hard water, standard hard water contains how many milligrams of calcium carbonate? 1000 contains 280 milligrams. Therefore, 1 contains 0.28 milligram of calcium carbonate. So, in this problem, 100 ml of this standard hot water requires 28 ml of EDTA. That is, 28 ml of EDTA is equal to 100 ml of standard hot water. We know already 1 ml of standard hot water is equal to how many milligrams of calcium carbonate. So 28 gram, 28 milligram of calcium carbonate is equal to 100 ml of standard hot water. Therefore 0.28 is equal to that is 1 milligram EDTA is equal to 1 milligram calcium carbonate. So if a sample of hard water consumes 1 ml of EDTA, then we can say that sample contains 1 milligram of calcium carbonate. Our sample hard water, 100 ml of standard hard water consumes 28 ml of EDTA, whereas 100 ml of sample hard water Sample hard water requires 33 ml of EDTA. We know 1 ml of EDTA is equal to 1 milligram of calcium carbonate. Therefore, 33 ml of that EDTA is equal to how many milligrams of calcium carbonate that is giving the total hardness. So, 33 ml of EDTA giving you is equivalent to 1 ml EDTA is equal to 1 milligram of calcium carbonate. Therefore, 33 that is equal to 33 milligram of calcium carbonate. That means 100 ml of sample hard water contains 33 milligrams of calcium carbonate. We cannot express this as it is in result because this has to be expressed only in terms of ppm that is milligram per liter. So 33 ml of EDTA is consumed by 100 ml of sample hard water. In turn, 100 ml of sample hard water contains 33 milligrams of calcium carbonate. Here we want to express this in terms of milligrams per liter, that is 100 ml sample hard water contains 33 milligrams of calcium carbonate, therefore 1000 ml of sample hard water is equal to 100 contains 
3,33, therefore 1,000 contains 330 milligrams per litre or 330 ppm. This is the total hardness of that water. So, we got total hardness. Now, to get permanent and temporary hardness, total hardness is the sum of temporary hardness and permanent hardness. We have estimated total hardness, it includes permanent and temporary hardness. By boiling 100 ml of this water, we know by boiling water temporary hardness can be removed by boiling. The temporary hardness causing substances are converted into precipitate, it is cooled, then filtered. So that filtered sample is not having any temporary hardness substance, it is completely removed as precipitate by boiling followed by filtration. So that water sample left over after filtration contains only permanent hardness, only permanent hardness. So that sample consumes only 10 ml of EDTA, consumes only 10 ml of EDTA. So as we have done here, 33 ml of EDTA is equal to so much. In the same manner, 10 ml of EDTA is equal to how much we can proceed. So 10 ml of EDTA is equal to 1 ml of EDTA is equal to 1 milligram, therefore 10, that is 10 milligram calcium carbonate. So 10 milligram calcium carbonate, that is permanent hardness causing substance present in 100 ml, we want to get in terms of milligram per liter. So 100 ml contains 10 milligram, therefore 1000 ml contains, 100 contains 10, therefore 1000 contains 100 milligram per litre or 100 parts per million calcium carbonate, this is our permanent hardness. By knowing total hardness and permanent hardness, we can get temporary hardness. By subtracting the permanent hardness from total hardness, we can get temporary hardness. So total hardness 330, temporary permanent hardness 100 gives 230 milligram per liter as the temporary hardness. So in this problem, weight is given, how much weight is present in standard hot water is given. From that we got ml equivalent of milligram calcium carbonate, which is used to get total hardness permanent hardness, by using these we can go for temporary hardness. The second problem is an estimation, 250 ml of hot water sample requires 15 ml of 0 0.025 molar EDTA. So in the earlier case sample hot water was given and how much volume was consumed is given, everything was given in weight. Whereas here it is given in molarity, M capital M stands for molarity, EDTA strength is given in molarity. We learned earlier 1 ml of 1 molar EDTA is equal to 100 milligram of calcium carbonate. So from this we can arrive this 1 ml of 0 0.01 molar EDTA just divided by 100 we are getting 1 milligram calcium carbonate. So, when this is multiplied, then therefore 1 ml of 0 0.025 molar EDTA is equal to 2.5 milligram of calcium carbonate. 
same logic is applied here. So our sample hard water 250 ml requires 15 ml of EDTA. So this 250 ml of sand, sa sample hard water contains how many milligrams of calcium carbonate? So the sample hard water consumes 15 ml of 0 0.025 molar EDTA. We know 1 ml of 0 0.025 molar EDTA is equal to 2.5. Therefore, 15 ml of that same 0 0.025 molar EDTA is equal to 37.5 milligram of calcium carbonate. So, this 37.5 milligram of calcium carbonate present in 250 ml, therefore, 1000 ml of sample hard water contains, 250 ml contains 37.5, therefore, 1000 ml contains 150 milligram per e milligram per liter or ppm as calcium carbonate. So we have seen two problems, one is based on the sample hot water given the weight, given terms of weight, other one is with the strength we have.